Greetings, friends. As always, it's an honor to welcome you back to Rick's Garage. What I have in the shop today is a 2005 Chevy Cobalt. It's got the 2.2 Ecotec motor. It belongs to my nephew. He brought it in. He wants me to change the valve cover gasket. That's what I'm working on. And while the valve cover is off, I thought I would check out his timing chain. So the first thing I did here, friend, is I mocked top dead center on the damper. So I hope you can see this okay, friends. Um, I put a little white dot right here. I put a little white dot right there. Those are your timing marks. This timing mark is supposed to be at 2 o'clock. And this timing mark over here is supposed to be at 10 o'clock. And they're just about exactly where they're supposed to be. So after rotating the crankshaft damper to top dead center, I found that these timing marks were exactly where they're supposed to be. There's no play anywhere in this chain. Now the reason there's no play in the chain, no slack, is because there's a tensioner on this side over here that takes up the slack. This motor turns in a clockwise uh, fashion like most motors do. The crankshaft sprocket is what pulls the chain around. So it pulls it tight on this side, and when it comes around on the other side, the tensioner takes up any slack. So thus there is no slack anywhere that you can see here. Now there's a lot of misconceptions about that on the internet. I see video after video, they're all maybe 10, 15 seconds long, people showing slack in this area here and wondering if there's something wrong with their vehicle, if they need a new timing chain. Well, what happens is um, depending on where the engine stops and the compression stroke and the position of the valve springs, sometimes this sprocket will kick back a little bit and cause a little slack in here while the motor's off. And that's what they're seeing. They're seeing slack here, and it's perfectly normal. That's the reason they put this guide here. This is a, a guide. And when this happens where you get a little bit of a kickback and you get a little slack in here, this guide holds the chain in position so it won't jump when you try to start the vehicle. So uh, if you look online, you'll see video after video of people playing with slack between these two sprockets and, and wondering why and thinking they need a new chain. Now, if you were an unscrupulous mechanic, you could put an 18 millimeter on this sprocket move it backwards and create all the all the play you want. You can see now I've got all kinds of uh, of slack there. So I'll move it back and get rid of the slack. Anyway, uh, in my opinion, this uh, chain is in perfect condition. Um, it's tight. The timing marks are where they're supposed to be. And if you take your valve cover off and you happen to see a lot of slack right here, it may be normal. So turn your crankshaft in a uh, clockwise fashion and the slack should disappear. Now if you happen to see slack down on this side, that means you have a bad tensioner and you do need to uh, replace the tensioner and uh, the timing chain. Now this is an interference motor. An interference motor means that if the timing chain breaks or jumps time, possibility the valves could come in contact with the piston and uh, the valves could be bent. Now you're looking at removing your cylinder head and, and you're talking big, big money to fix that. You don't have to remove your uh, valve cover to check this out. Um, there are ways to tell if you have late valve timing. First of all, if your uh, tensioner lets go, and your, your uh, chain is loose, you'll hear it slapping on the uh, timing cover. It'd be a very obvious sound that you'd be hearing. Some of the scan tools that you can plug into your car can monitor this and let you know you have late valve timing. Or you can use a simple uh, vacuum gauge. If you, a vacuum gauge at idle, if you get into the red area or the yellow area, that was an indication of late valve timing also. Very uh, simple analog device. Now, I do not know what the interval is on this motor as far as when you should change the timing chain. Um, like I said, if you let it go and it breaks while you're driving the car, you're talking big money. I don't have the uh, owner's manual here with the car, 
but your owner's manual should list this under maintenance, how often you should uh, change the chain, um, if it's required or not. I would guesstimate somewhere over 100,000 miles, perhaps the chain should be uh, replaced as a matter of routine maintenance. Although there's nothing routine about it, it would probably cost you $1,000 or more just to change this chain. But if you let the chain go, it could cost you several thousand dollars to replace a cylinder head. So that's all I've got, friends. Um, I just wanted to clear that up. Uh, there's a lot of confusion on YouTube about when you get play here, what does it mean? And uh, for the most part, it means nothing. So thank you once again for watching Rick's Garage. Before I go, I will post two videos to your left. I hope of which you find them of interest. And to your right, as always, will be a picture of my avatar in the form of my trusty German Shepherd. By all means, feel free to click on that should you wish to subscribe to my channel. So thanks again for watching. We hope to see you all very, very soon.